soil is formed from the breakdown of rocks and minerals on the Earth's surface through weathering and erosion. Soil is important for growth and life of plants. It helps hold the plants straight up and a source of nutrients and water which the plant use for growth and living. Let us learn more about the three types of soil. Sandy soil consists of small particles of weathered rocks. It has the largest particles among the three types of soil. Its texture is rough. Drainage system and aeration are good. However, it has low nutrients and poor water holding capacity. Clay soil. It has the smallest particles among the three types of soil. Its texture is fine and rich in nutrients which plants need. The soil particles are tightly packed with very little or no air space. The soil has very good water holding capacity. Clay is the densest and heaviest type of soil which does not drain well. Loam soil. It is a combination of sand, silt, and clay. Its texture is rather fine. It's black or brown because of a high amount of humus. It has the ability to retain moisture and nutrients. In this experiment, we will test the water flow and absorption in each type of soil. I prepared three cups with holes at the bottom. The water is measured and the timer is set. I am expecting little amount of water for the clay soil, but it turns out to be the opposite. Why? Based on my observation, the clay soil is already wet. Therefore, it will not absorb much water. Also, the water made its way on the sides of the plastic cup, not through the soil. On the other hand, sandy soil is dry, so it absorbs some water. Also, as expected, the water passed through the sand real fast. Loam soil is also dry. It absorbs more water than sandy soil. 
some water passed through the soil and was captured by the cup at the bottom. Let us do part 2. This time, all the three types of soil are wet. For the results, sandy soil and clay soil did not absorb water anymore, while loam soil absorbs 5 ml of water. <music>